Now that we've set up Kong to work with our Fire server, it's time to be thinking about securing our server. And Kong offers a rich range of options. I think the natural first step will be to have users authenticate themselves before they can request uh, Fire resources. So let's take a look at this how can we secure our fire service? There are a number of security plugins that we can use that Kong supplies right out of the box. And I'm going to go ahead and add a plugin here. And you can see there are a variety of ways in which users can be made to authenticate themselves to the service. OAuth2 is a great way uh, to do that authentication. That requires an identity manager, and we don't have time to discuss that uh, this afternoon. So what I'm going to do is use a pretty good uh, method of authentication called key authentication. I'm going to go ahead and add this plugin with Kong. To use the plugin, we have to have a API key or a uh, field that it will look for the API key and I'm just going to make it simple. I'll call this API key and I'm going to go ahead and add the plugin to the service globally. Now that that plugin has been created let's see the effect on uh, requesting data from uh, our fire service. I'm going to go back to Kong and I'm going to try to make a API request. I'm going to get rid of the key here and just request uh, data from uh, this main route uh, for patient number six. And you could see we're going to get a message back from Kong right away that there was no API key found in the request and it's going to basically uh, give us a 401 unauthorized error. So we need to uh, have an API key and to do that we have to be a consumer of the service. Now just in the interest of time I've set up a couple of consumers for our fire service here. And let's assume that we wanted to access everything in the service uh, we are an admin and we're in the group administrator and our credentials are we're going to have to have obviously an API key. So we'll have Khan create that I API key for us here. I'm going to submit it and we'll get a nice string that would be hard to memorize. And let's now take that API key and place it into Postman. I'm going to uncheck this field API key and I'm going to paste that in. And now I'm going to make the same request again. And this time you see we are able to get a patient back. So that's good news. We've been able to authenticate uh, users coming into our service. But that may not be enough. We want to do more than authentication. We want to also choose who should be able to come in uh, on a given route. So let's take a look at can we secure our service even in a more fine-grained way. I'm going to go to our routes and we have this main route here and we could add a plugin to this main route as well. We could say, hey, uh, only certain people can come into this route. And I'm going to add a, another plugin to Kong. And this plugin is going to be a little bit different. We're going to look at role based uh, authentication. So I want to control which consumers can access this, uh, this route. 
And what I'm going to say here is the consumers I want to access the route are administrators. So I'm going to add that plugin. And let's make, let's make uh, sure it's working again. I'm going to bring back our known administrator here and see if it can uh, make this request and get a response. And you can see it's able to do that. Now let's take a different uh, consumer of the service. So we have ordinary fire users. And for the sake of uh, this demonstration, I'm considering that they're in a different group. They're in the general group. Let's make sure they have at least authentication credentials. And they do have an API key. I'm going to copy that key because they need this key to authenticate themselves. But they're in the wrong group, the wrong security group. They're just in the user group. So even though they can, in theory, authenticate against the server, they don't have permissions along this route. So let's go ahead and validate that uh, or verify that with Postman. I'm going to now replace the administrator key with the user key. And let's make that request again. And you now see we're getting a different kind of error message that even though they're authenticated, they cannot consume this service. So in summary, what have we shown here? Well, we showed that we could both do authentication and authorization, but we've shown a big advantage for API management in dealing with security. You're not going to need to build this into your application. You could use the API manager to do this for you. You can employ the security method of your choice. and. As time goes on, you can even change this at will with very little effort. So this uh, concludes this part. I want to uh, show you some more things we could do with Kong before we wrap this up.